It's Halloween again. LA is a bore. Everybody's looking like they wish they'd stayed inside. And they were watching Frankenstein. And their beds and on their phones. Not me, baby. Tonight I'm really living. I'm a vampire again. And I'm coming for you. Open up your window I'm about to sail in You can cry for mama But she won't know what to do I'm a vampire again Oh Well, it's been a long time waiting But I'm happy to reveal I can smell you from a thousand yards Fresh white linen Felt like only yesterday I was as weak as Woody Allen Now I stand as proud and tall As a home where you were born I'm a vampire again And I'm coming for you So keep that window open I'm a swooper and you know it Cry for my heart But she won't know what to do I'm a vampire again Oh And I hope you've been keeping it sweet for me Cause I woke up a hunger Midnight glory And I swear you won't feel a single thing Until at least the year 2025 So, I thought I'd do something a bit different for this video and share just some favourite recent things or some things on my mind or just a random mix of bits and bobs, basically. I've had some time at home this week, which always seems like a good time to take some time to reflect over what's been going on and different things in my life. And that little video montage at the beginning was just recent clips that I have on my phone. Um, which I thought was quite a nice way to get across that reflective moment. But yeah, more specifically, let's talk about books. I am reading like a monster at the moment and desperately trying to keep it up. It's something I fall out of the habit of far too easily. And these are some books that I have read or I'm about to read. This one, um, Between the World and Me, is beautiful. I really, really recommend it. It's quite a short read. I read it in um, and a flight to Amsterdam and it's amazing. This one was recommended to me by a friend, um, the Gulag Archipelag, Archi I don't know, I'll know how to pronounce that by next week, I promise. Um, it's a history book based in Russia, something I know little about. Uh, my my um, knowledge of Russian history, or pronouncing words it seems, is minimal, so I'm really excited to get my teeth stuck into that one. Um, this trio, trilogy rather, the hardback one I've had for ages and didn't realise it was part of a trilogy, a rookie error, so then I've gone out and bought the first two, and I can't wait to read those by the pool soon. This one by um, Joan Didion has completely began an obsession, and I need to bulk buy all of her other books. This was a beautiful, beautiful book of short essays, and similarly, this one, Lindsay gave me this one, it's her favourite book, and it's also short essays, all set in Florida as the title suggests, but um, yeah, those are some of my favourites and very, very open to suggestions for reading at the moment um, because I am just non-stop with that and I'm also constantly carrying around a book in my handbag, of which I have a new one. I did show you it a little bit. Oh, a, a pincer for my hair, still obsessed with them. Um, I did show you the handbag a little bit in the last vlog, but I thought I'd show you it properly here. It was a major, major splurge for me. Um, 
not something I do often by handbags, but I've seen a few photos of it and just really loved it and felt it was really timeless and I'd never tire of it. So I went to Heathrow Airport and bought it there where it was marginally cheaper, but still eye-wateringly really expensive. I could have collapsed at the, at the checkout desk. Um, but I have loved wearing it so far. The length of the handle straps are so good to wear on your shoulder and it fits a good amount in it. It fits a book in it quite easily. Um, it fits a camera in it too. Basically everything I need to carry. Um, and I just love the colour. I love the, um, the woven detailing on it. I just think it's beautiful and super timeless and I'm very chuffed with it. Um, another update, I've had to take some of my earrings out. This ear is manky, but I want to show you anyway. Because some of the ones at the top of my cartilage just would not heal. So I've had to take two out because they were painful. I just decided to give up after about four months of trying. Um, but I'm actually really liking how it looks with less gold in. I think I'm, this is going to be something I tire of. That's the look of all those earrings. So I'm quite enjoying that. And those bottom hoops I'll link in the description box because they're new from a new brand to me that I really like the perfect size. Um, lemon and ginger here. It's my favourite drink at the moment, just lemon, ginger and hot water. I've been starting my day with it and then drinking it throughout the day. I hope there's no bad side effects of drinking copious amounts of the stuff because that's what I'm doing, but I really, really love it. Um, and finally, I just wanted to read out this comment that somebody left the other day. It was in regards to the whole angle I want to take regarding thinking about fashion more sustainably and it just was really well worded and I wanted to share it because it, it I'm just going to read it out so it says hi Lizzie loving your content and the new angle you're taking but I have a comment that might suggest a new angle you haven't thought of I think the one in one out policy is quite unhealthy and can lead to increased waste quite often donated clothes don't all sell and may end up becoming waste but also people very regularly regret throwing things away under the pressure to be minimal and end up replacing them Please don't feel the need to have a minimal wardrobe. The movement of sustainability isn't ha about having a small wardrobe. It's about acquiring less and creating less demand. I completely sympathise with the influencer conundrum of needing to do sponsored posts to make a living, but then ending up with far too many possessions. Maybe suggest a borrowing system with your favourite commercial partners or some alternative content where you style your favourite clothes and suggest similar dupes sold by that store. Hopes it doesn't come across negative. Love what you're doing, but want to be constructive. Um, that is the definition of a constructive comment, can I just say as well. Um, and was completely something I hadn't thought of. The, the bit about the pressure to be minimal, I thought was really interesting as well. I have just really had a huge clear out and I feel so much lighter. I feel clearer in my head and so much better, but there is definitely a pressure there around that. So uh, this is definitely something I'm going to keep in mind going forward. The whole idea of loaning things is something that's never sat right with me because I always think that I should should be taking on clothes that I am confident are going to be in my wardrobe and work well in my wardrobe, especially if I'm being paid to share them with you guys. But it's something I'm going to think about. Um, I think when it was really, if it was really clearly disclosed within it, then maybe it would work in some way. Um, but again, I think this was just so well worded about acquiring less and creating less demand and then while also being kind about the fact that this is my job and it's a business um, and it basically worded the whole thing more concisely and better than I possibly could have done so this is also a thank you to this specific viewer but um, all of you generally who are so responsive to everything and so understanding and on a journey with me and I'm so grateful for that so yeah I'll see you in the next video guys um, it's been amazing to watch me struggle to spell all these words. Seems I can't pronounce things or spell. <laughs>